While discussing sports, Max and I noticed that the turnout for women's sports at the high school, especially women's basketball, was much lower than men's sports at the high school. We noticed that the Devil's Den consistently showed up for almost all of the men's home games and barely any of the women's home games. We also noticed that the boys' varsity games were advertised in the bulletin, the girls' games were not. So we asked ourselves why, and the answer, although ignorant at the time, was that women's basketball is just boring. But how could this be the correct answer? There probably isn't a huge difference in skill level between the girls' and boys' teams. Many of the girls on the basketball team have been playing for the same amount of time as players on the boys' team. The girls' basketball team has one of the best records of any of the sports teams at the high school. So what gives? I used to, when I worked here, I retired last June, but I used to attend the games all the time. Yes, I attend sporting events at the high school. I do attend sporting events at the high school. Yes, I do attend sporting events at the high school. Yeah, I go to sporting games at the high school. Yes, I attend sporting events at the high school. I very rarely attend sporting events at the high school. Sometimes. I attend sporting events at the high school. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I have. Yes, I do. I'm yes. roughly 10 sporting events a year. I attend um, almost all the basketball games for men's. Well, I try to attend all of the basketball and football games for guys. Uh, all the football games, probably all of the basketball games, and all the baseball games. Almost all the boys' basketball games, and I went to a majority of the boys' football home games. Honestly, probably not more than two or three. Probably two different men's sporting events. Here uh, this past week for a varsity basketball game. Well, I've basically have been at every football game for the last five or six years. Usually one or two women's basketball games. I tend like one for women's or two. I try to go to some of my friends' games per year, but I don't really get to a lot of those. Probably like three or four. Mostly none. We really didn't do much with girls' sports. One. One women's sports for you? Uh, it will probably be something in the neighborhood of about five or six. We're going to show you pictures of basketball players, and you have to say if you know their names. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Okay. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Hi, uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. This is Kevin Durant. Oh, that looks like Jamie Foxx. But, um, uh, I, I know his face. Looks like Jamie Foxx playing a basketball player. <laughs> Next. LeBron James. LeBron James. Michael Jordan. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. That's James. LeBron James. Oh, I love him. Um, <laughs> you know what? I think he was a student here, like in 1998. Uh, isn't that uh, LeBron? That's LeBron. I, know. I did. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, I believe. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Oh, hello, Kobe Bryant. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony. No, no. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony. No, I can't tell. Not certain who he is. I love him, and I just, I can't, I don't recognize him, you know, uh, but, um, next. Joaquin Noah. Joaquin Noah. Joaquin Noah. Jamari. 
Joe Kim Noah. Joaquin Noah. What? I can't think of his name offhand because he has such an angry expression on his face. Joe Kim Noah. No. Iggy Azalea. No. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know. Oh, I love her. No, that's not Wendy. No, wait, you're flat chested for that. I, you know what? She's somebody's wife. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Gainer. I'm not certain of her name anymore. Catchings, maybe. No. Even Aj. I've seen her face, but I don't know her name. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> <laughs> is a, a woman's, big woman's basketball player. I just don't know her name, but I do know that she's 5'11. I don't know. One of the Williams sisters? <laughs> Wait, well, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like... <laughs> nope, don't know who she is. That is, I don't know. No. No. Yeah. Are these basketball players? Is that the tennis player? I don't know her name offhand. I don't know. I don't know. Liam is his wife. I don't know. I forgot her name. Hey, I don't know. It's uh, Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner. Oh, Brittany Griner. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love her. That she's UConn. UConn basketball. She is, um, she's really tall. I think she's like 6'1", and I love her. I can't remember her name, but I do know her, her height. No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Brittany Grind? I don't know. Nope, don't know her, her name. That one right there, I don't know. No. Monica Lewinsky? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love her, but, um, I don't know her name. I don't know. I don't know. Is that? Tarazi. That's Tarazi. In 2009, basketball was the only women's sport to receive anything close to substantial attention earning just 1.5% of the overall coverage. Lynette Pearson with the ball, watched by DeSouza, hands off for Pondexter, the jumper to win it, he's good! What's not surprising though is that television sports news did focus regularly on women, but rarely on women athletes. More common were portrayals of women as comical targets of the newscaster's jokes and or as sexual objects. In 2012, the average salary for players in the NBA was $5.15 million, while the average for players in the WNBA was 99% less, at $72,000 per year. One way that gender surfaces in basketball is through sports coverage. A study that examined six weeks of men's and women's play in 1989 found that sportscasters were more likely to use positive language to describe men's play than women's. Even when they were describing the positive attributes of men and women, this tendency was present. For example, men were described as leaders, wise, very calm, as making power moves, and as gutsy. These are words that emphasize men's physical strength and confidence on the court. Even when women were playing well, newscasters described them as holding up to pressure, big girls, angry young lady, and poised. Words that emphasize gender, but not their skill. Another example of how newscasters emphasize gender in women's play and not in men's is the fact that women's league is called the WNBA and the men's is simply the NBA. The assumption that men's play is normal and that women's play is exceptional is evident throughout the coverage of the sport. Playing the game is different in, within men's basketball when you start playing above the rim. The game changes when you have players that are playing above the rim. You know, there, there are ways that the physicality of the game is different in, in comparison. Like for our varsity boys and varsity girls, to compare them is to compare two different types of physicality. Mm -hmm. When Coach Harp talks about playing above the rim, he is talking about the ability to dunk the ball and defend the basket. To do so requires height and agility. The median men's basketball player is 6 feet 6.5 inches tall, while the median woman's player is 6 feet tall.
Experts believe it requires at least 6 to 6.5 feet to play above the rim. Okay, so, men are taller and stronger than women, and therefore, men's play is fundamentally different than women's. But does the difference in the physicality of men's and women's basketball actually explain the reason for the difference in the popularity? We argue that men's and women's basketball are essentially different sports. At our school, the student body is more likely to support the men's sports than women's. At the national level, the media is more likely to support men's sports than women's. However, rather than assuming that the difference in popularity is based solely in the different styles of play, we believe the evidence suggests something different. It is not sports differentials, but rather gender differentials that determine the popularity of each sport. I mean, would you rather watch a mad little girl or a fierce warrior? When women are taken seriously in society, there will be a better chance for women's sports to gain the popularity they deserve. Yeah. Sure. I'm ultra-made. Not everything.